Now let's talk a bit more about eight nodes. Before we get to the eight nodes, let's review the note duration of a whole note, a half note, and the quarter note. It will help us to understand the eight notes better. First of all, let's take a look at the time signature. It's 4-4 four, four time, which means that there are four counts of a quarter note beat in each measure. And the measure always ends with a bar line. And this is an end bar line. Now, you will hear metronome in the background. So first of all, let's listen to the whole note and here underneath the staff you have the counts. I will play this two times. The first time just with the metronome and the second time I will count the counts along. Let's listen. Now I will count the beats along. One, two, three, four. Now here we have a sample with the half notes. You can see the counts under the staff again and the time signature is 4-4 four, four time. Let's take a listen. And now I will count these bars along with the example. Notice how each half note takes two beats. This one takes one and two and this one takes three and four. One, two, three, four. And here are the quarter notes. Each of them takes one count. As you notice, beneath every quarter note there is a count. One, two, three, four. And if you remind yourself about the time signature, it actually means that there should be four quarter note beats in each measure. And we have one, two, three, four quarter notes and then the measure ends with a bar line. Let's take a listen. As you noticed, every quarter note took one beat. I will now count along with the example and you will hear that each time I say a number one quarter note appears. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now we come to the eighth notes. Here you will see that each count in a measure takes two eight notes. Therefore, we have to count one and two and three and four and because every quarter note beat contains two eight notes. I have drawn a circle around the quarter note beats. This is the first quarter note beat, second, third and fourth. So you see inside each circle, that is each beat, there are two eight notes. Therefore we have to count one end, two end, three end, four end. 
Let's take a listen to this example. As you could hear, this is twice as fast as the quarter note. Now the notes are going really fast, so let's hear this example again. And now I will try to count along. You can do that also. And you have to count one end, two end, three end, four end. Let's try. One and two and three and four end. You get the idea? Good. Now to understand the relationship between the eight notes and the other note durations, let's try to compare. You will hear in this example these eight notes and this whole note play simultaneously. And you will notice that it takes the same time for this whole note to play as it takes these eight eight notes to play. This is good to understand the relationship between different note durations. Let's take a listen. You get the idea? Let's listen one more time. And here we will compare the half notes and the eight notes. Here you have the beats, one, two, three, four, and the beats below the eight notes, one and two and three and four and so on. And you will notice that the eight notes move four times faster than the half notes. So the time it takes one half note to play is the same amount of time as it takes four eight notes to play. So let's take a listen to this example. To make the sounds a bit more distinctive, we added a guitar sound to the half notes and the piano sound to the eight notes. So let's take a listen. You will hear the metronome in the background. Let's listen to this one more time. And now I will count along. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. You get the idea? Good. Finally, let's compare the quarter notes to the eighth notes. Now each quarter note takes one beat, one, two, three, four, and uh, the time it takes one quarter note to play is the time for two eight notes to play. So they move twice as fast as the quarter notes. Let's take a listen to this example. Let's listen to this example one more time and try counting along. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Finally, in this lesson, let's talk a little bit about the eighth note rest. The eighth note rest has the same duration as the eighth note itself. So let's try an example. Let's change one of these notes to a rest. I will, for example, change this note. Simply take it out 
and replace it with a rest. And here we have the 8 node rest. Notice how it's written on the staff. Let's take a closer look. Here we have a close look at the 8 node rest. Notice how it's written. Here is the first line, second line, third line of the staff, fourth and fifth line. It's like a dot. Then you draw upwards and down to the second line of the staff. This is the way eight note rests are written. They are always written this way. Now, let's take a listen to this example where I have taken out this one eight note and replace it with an eight note rest. Did you notice how there, were, there was a silence here for the same amount of time as the notes before and after? Let's do some more experimenting. Let's take out all the eight notes on the beats. We call this on the beat, where it's one, and then on the second beat, and on the fourth beat. We've already taken out the eight note on the third beat. So here, instead of having notes on the beats, we have rests, eight note rests. Let's take a listen, and as usual, you will hear the metronome in the background. Ready? Let's listen to this one more time. Now, let's make another experiment. Let's take out the second and the third note of this four note grouping. These are a group of four here, as you can see. And what we want to do here is take out the second and the third note here, and the second and the third note here. And let's listen to what it sounds like. And here we have the example ready. We've taken out the second and the third no note here and replaced it with the rest and uh, done the same thing in the second four note grouping. Now let's listen. I will play this one more time. And now I will count along and I encourage you to do the same. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four. So you get the idea of the relationship between the note durations and the durations of rests? Well, if not, just rewind the video and listen to it again.